would like to compare SlimPort technology with MHL. SlimPort technology is based on DisplayPort, and MHL stands for Media High Speed Link, and that's based uh, ultimately on HDMI technology. Here in my hand, I've got a Google Nexus 4 phone manufactured by LG, which is enabled with SlimPort technology. And SlimPort allows you to connect this smartphone to a big screen in a very easy way. You just get a SlimPort to HDMI adapter, in this case, and you plug it into the micro USB input, and the phone will detect the connection to the TV and then send the video out to the TV. And here you can see it's outputting at 1080p resolution. On the left, I've got a Samsung Galaxy S3 phone equipped with MHL. It works in a very similar way. You get a MHL adapter, this one manufactured by Samsung, and you plug it into the phone. The phone will detect the connection to the big screen and send the video out. In the case of MHL, the resolution is limited to 720p at 60 hertz or 1080i at 30 hertz. So the resolution of SlimPort is twice the resolution of MHL. The other important difference between SlimPort and MHL is that in the case of MHL, you must have a power source to, to use the adapter. Here is a micro USB power cable, and it's connected to this adapter. If I unplug it, then you get no audio, no video, and the battery is not charging. So nothing works in the case of MHL. In the case of SlimPort, you can charge your battery if you have a power cable. You can see it charging right now. But if you don't have a power cable, then audio and video still go to your TV, um, and it's flexible for the end user. It doesn't need to have a power cable. That's a flexible solution. The other important difference between SlimPort and MHL is that in the case of SlimPort, you can drive any display type. If I remove this HDMI adapter and connect a VGA adapter, which is connected to this projector, then again, it will detect the connection of the projector and send the video to the projectors. In the case of MHL, this is not really possible without having a separate power source, which is very inconvenient in most cases.